Hey guys, Joey Sturgis here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get huge sounding leads using Toneforge Jeff Loomis. This is a very busy mix, and these leads cut through like it's nothing. But this is often a challenge, especially in modern metal. So let me show you the steps I took to get this tone, which by the way, you can find it in the factory presets by the name of Arch Nemesis Lead, in case you want to try it out. Let's start by opening up Toneforge Jeff Loomis on these DI guitars, and switch to the lead amp to hear what that sounds like. Okay, not bad. Let's work on this tone a little bit more. Let's start with the overdrive. First, we're gonna use this overdriven pedal to bring a little bit more clarity to the pick attack. Right about there is sounding crisp and clear. For this busy mix, which is sitting mostly on the low mid side, we can make these leads cut through by turning up the mids and the highs. Let's also decrease the lows a bit and increase the gain until it feels just right. Right about there sounds great. Now, the shred knob will help us add some more clarity and definition into this tone. Much better. We're not quite there yet though. Now, let's experiment with some different cabs. I love how aggressive this cab sounds, but I kind of missed the low end from the old cab. So we can bring it back by switching to dual cab mode. Now we can basically blend until we get the right amount of presence from the cab on the left side and the weight from the cab on the right side. Perfect, now let's move on to the effects section and make our leads sound huge. First, we'll start with reverb. I like to start with the mix all the way up and go through all the different types. I love how this plate one sounds. It has this metallic sound that adds a lot of presence and stands out in the mix. But I'm gonna dial it back just a little bit using the mix knob until it's not too noticeable. Mm -hmm. 
Now, we need to add just a touch of pre-delay so that the leads sound a little bit more defined. And for those of you who might be new to pre-delay with reverbs, this essentially just adds a little bit of time between the guitar sound and when the reverb begins, which creates clarity due to the short time spacing. Nice, you can really hear that there. Okay, now for a bit of modulation to add that extra depth. So we're pretty good on the reverb now. Next up, let's add some delay. I'd like to set the delay at 50 so that I can hear all of the repetitions while going through the different time settings. I love how the quarter note sounds for this mix. It emphasizes the downbeats by following the snare. We don't want it to be too overbearing though, so let's turn it down until it's a little more subtle. Let's also decrease the repetitions and the tone so that it's not too distracting. Awesome! These leads are way bigger now. Let's polish these up with a little bit of EQ. The low mids are getting a bit out of control, so we're going to tame the 300Hz area just a bit. Okay, we also need to tame some of the harshness happening there at 12K. Perfect, that's it. Here's our final tone in the mix. So I hope this video helps you have an easier time creating awesome lead tones. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. For more information about Toneforge Jeff Loomis, visit joeysturgistones.com. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, happy mixing.